Hey guys, welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So it's been a while since I put a video out. I've been on holidays over in the US for the past month and uh, I've just got back. So it's great to be back and it's great to be able to put together a few videos for you guys. Uh, so my time in the US was um, pretty much spent uh, doing family things. Uh, not a lot of coin stuff actually happened. Uh, I tried, but uh, it just didn't work out timing wise. Uh, but I did manage to pick up a few things and uh, I just wanted to share a few of those with you. Um, but before I begin, I I wasn't able to get, I wanted, I, went, oh, I actually went into uh, some branches, some banks and asked whether I could grab some um, uh, boxes of pennies and those kind of things to bring home and I wanted to try and noodle through those pennies and, and try and create a folder. Uh, that didn't happen. Uh, I asked, but they uh, they wouldn't allow me to have any coins because I didn't have an account. Um, yeah, I tried to be a little bit charming, but that didn't help. And uh, anyway, I was unsuccessful, which was a bit disappointing. But um, during the trip, I every coin um, that came back from spending notes, I kept. And, uh, and I've got a, a fair bag full of coins and um, there's a lot of new coins in there I haven't gone through the coins um, there's a lot of uh, quarters I'll tip them out shortly but um, basically I want to ask you guys what I should do with them and um, but we'll get through what what I've got here first and um, then we'll have a look at uh, what I've got there and uh, if you guys are interested I'll make some videos on uh, on the coins that I have uh, been able to bring back with me and uh, Anyway, anyway, let's have a look at what I've got for now, and um, we'll uh, we'll have a look at that in a moment. So while I was in Washington, uh, there was a mint shop there, and uh, I I tried to get into a few coin shops, uh, but my timing was off. Things were closed, and you know it just wasn't working out. I did manage to get into one coin shop in uh, San Francisco, and I bought a couple of coins there, and I did have a really cool experience, which I wished. I had of uh, filmed, but I'll just share it with you anyway. Um, but let's just go through what I've actually grabbed. Uh, and I didn't spend a heap of money. I just grabbed some of the stuff I was probably more interested in. And so I'd actually forgot that I actually bought these. Uh, but I got the 2017 and 2018 uh, America, the beautiful quarters. So they're the circulating coin set from both 2017 and 2018. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, 2017, and it's just interesting the packaging as well. It's, it's good to see how uh, other places are packaging up coins. So um, probably won't be able to see all the all the detail on these coins, but uh, there is. Um, I think these ones. Uh, let me have a look. What um, mint mark is on these? Uh, we'll try and zoom in there. So we got D mint mark on these ones here. I'm assuming that these are all D-mint marked. Yes, they are. Yep. Um, and what are these ones here? Oh, yeah, so we got the D and the P. So the Denver and the Philadelphia mint minted coins in these um, well in these packs here. So these are the 2017 ones. I, I actually haven't had a look at them properly and uh, it's difficult to show on camera I will try and zoom in a little bit just so you can see some of the detail there so there's a 2017 and I can't quite read them all out but um, they're all they're all nice commemorative coins this one's from Ellis Island and I'll keep rotating and Yep, you can see the detail of these coins and I will have a closer look at these later on but uh, yeah it was just something uh, a little bit different that I grabbed and I'm assuming that these are all the same designs yes they are uh, but they've just got the different mint marks on them so that was the 2017 version and then I've got the 2018 version of that which I'm assuming will be different designs again. So we'll have a look at those. Let's 
So just different uh, different places around the country. Uh, Minnesota, that one there. Georgia. What's that one there? Uh, Rhode Island. So, um, yeah, different states are represented. And uh, once again, the uh, P and the Denver minted versions of those coins. So, I think that they were very cheap. I just grabbed them because they were cheap. Um, while I was also there, I managed to get the uh, 2019 uh, mint sets. So I got the Philadelphia and the Denver version. And uh, interesting to look at their packaging on this one as well. So it's a, basically it's a, a plastic type um, cover. Um, probably like the Australian ones better um, because they open up far more easy. Um, but uh, we'll have a little look at them. So each of the coins are represented and uh and we have some of the quarters as well okay so these are the 2019 one and just the uh we'll flip them up so we got dollar coin there the, the half dollar the dime so the 10 cent one cent and the five cent so the nickel so yeah, we got that. That's the uh, Denver version and the Philadelphia version, which is basically the same. Just got the different mint marks, and then the uh, San Francisco mint uh, purely does the proof coins. So the special thing that I got when I purchased uh, these sets is this one here, which is the uh, 2019 West Point. Uh, special edition, uh, special edition Lincoln Penny, and there's a few different ones you can get, but this one here is the um, just the regular um, penny, so it's not a proof penny or anything. But uh, if we have a look at this here, I'll bring it down this side. Um, so the standard penny design, which is the current design, and then. We've got uh, Abraham Lincoln on there, and you'll see a W, which is uh, the rare, the rare mint mark, and uh, for West Point, and uh, yeah, so this is an uncirculated coin, which is uh, nice and special. So I'll be uh, certainly hanging on to that, and uh, this little card just goes on to um, to show the details of uh there's three to collect so uh so there's a proof penny the reverse proof penny and the uncirculated penny which is the one i've got there so um yeah that's pretty cool so i was very happy to get that and while i was also at the um at the washington mint shop um i was having a chat with the uh the guys who were in there and they had these uh, basically coin changing machines there, and so I uh, I put a couple of dollars in, and um, and managed to get some of these uh, coins that had only just been released uh, that week. So this is a 2019 San Antonio Missions coin, and uh, so it's a Texas from Texas, Texas, sorry, um, and. This is the P mint marked version and the Denver mint marked version. As you can see, that little D under In God We Trust. So that was pretty cool. So I managed to get, uh, I think I got about three or four dollars worth, uh, three dollars worth I must have grabbed. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing a giveaway and I'm actually going to give away some of these along with uh, some other stuff. But, um, so I'm gonna be putting out a few videos uh, in fairly quick quick succession, including this one. Um, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway video, which will include this and another couple of coins. And also, oh, I picked up some, um, 
some it's got nothing to do with coins but I, some of you may be interested in seeing it so it'll be some uh coke bottles i actually got from uh from disneyland which are pretty cool they're star wars ones uh and you may not have seen them and uh some of you may collect other stuff other than coins so i'll put that little video out there as well so uh feel free to check that one out um now while i was in san francisco i did manage to get myself into a coin shop and uh this coin shop was, I think, on about the 14th floor of a really old building, and I didn't know where I was going, but uh, it was, once I got up there, it was interesting to uh, have a little look at this little shop, and this is the place I went to, uh, Witter Coins, and uh, while I was in there, um, I picked up, I didn't spend too much money, but um, I managed to get one of these... Uh, one dollar here which is from 1890 uh, I love these things I've got a couple of them now but uh, it was just something I, I loved and it's a nice big heavy coin and uh, yeah plenty of silver in it so I grabbed one of those and another um, coin that I love is the uh, Indian pennies so the one cent Indian head pennies and uh, so I got one there from 1897 and a 1903 Indian head so I really didn't buy much but uh, that I was very happy to find them but while I was in there and uh, this is what I really wished I had filmed um, but um, uh, the guy behind the counter gave me a coin to have a look at which was uh, a slabbed a graded uh, PCGS coin and it was a, uh, a 1943 uh, penny now the interesting thing with the 1943 penny is that uh, this was during the war and there was a real shortage on copper and so those 1943 uh, pennies that you'll find in uh, circulation uh, will be steel but very few of the uh, pennies were actually struck on um, on a copper uh, planchet, and he happened to have one of those coins, so he let me hold that particular coin. I said to him, I, I, I knew about them and I'd read about them, um, so I, I was certainly familiar with it, but I wasn't familiar with what they were worth, and uh, so I asked the question, you know, what's it worth? He told me that the coin that I was holding was worth three hundred thousand um, dollars, which is just extraordinary that he uh, even let me hold it. Uh, but it was certainly one of the highlights, and I, I really wish I had filmed it for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll certainly have to uh, head back there one day and see if they've still got it. But uh, yeah, I missed an opportunity there. But uh, anyway, I've um, enjoyed sharing what of uh, what I did manage to get my hands on. Uh, but uh, just getting back to all these coins that I've brought back. So we've got a few options. Uh, either I'm going to go through them because I've been watching lots of videos on uh, US era coins. And uh, uh, probably one of the big things on US coins is to find coins with doubling around the letters and those kind of things. And um, so I've... Yeah, I've managed to get a fair few, and I do have a heap more other... Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, um, I do have a heap more other coins uh, that we could go through, but uh, one of the other things was to look for uh, the state quarters, and I think that they were... i have to do a bit more research on that, but I think they finished off around the 2008... Uh, period and uh, I'm assuming that there's at least 50 different state quarters um, but I thought I'll just tip out these coins here we can just sort of see just how many coins I sort of brought back just from change um, so I'd love to be able to go through this um, if you guys are interested go through them have a look at some of the dates maybe I could separate the quarters out and do a video on the quarters that I've found we can have a look and see how many um how many different states uh that might be an idea for a, for a video we go through and have a look at all the different one cent coins i've come across 
Um, I haven't gone through this. So I'm really keen to go through with a magnifying glass and have a look at all the lettering, uh, which might be difficult to ca capture. Um, but uh, there's lots of new coins in here, uh, lots of shiny ones. Um, so, yeah, I think that would be cool. If you guys are interested, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think I should do with this. If you're interested in seeing um, some videos, um, I'm happy to make a few and uh, sort of break it up a little bit. So it'd be fairly time consuming to go through all these coins. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you reckon I should do. And uh, I'll be certainly happy to do that. Uh, I don't believe I've come across any silver coins in my travels. Um, but once again, I haven't checked dates and those kind of things. But from what I did see, by every time I did put the uh, the coins in the bag, I don't believe I've come across any silvers. But who knows? Uh, but yeah, let's let's see. If you're interested, happy to go through it and have a look and see if we can uh, see how many state coins we can find out of this lot here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. Um, so I will be putting out two other videos fairly quickly. One of them will be a giveaway video and one will be on the Coke bottles that I uh, came across at uh, Disneyland. Alright guys, thanks for watching.